friends. So today I'm gonna go in the app with this particular Tama and we are going to marry the first Tama that proposes to us. I don't know who it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're just gonna go visit the park and see who proposes to us and we are gonna go with it. I got this inspiration because I was watching on Netflix, um, Love at First Sight. No, Married at First Sight is called. Have you guys seen this? Comment down below if you have seen this show. Um, it's really ridiculous. Uh, I'm watching it right now with my boyfriend and we are just laughing so hard at these people. Um, <laughs> we're calling it like Married Too Soon and just oops like the people in this show are so funny um we're watching right now it's season nine and there's this uh redheaded girl and she's just she's got the worst temper she's just yelling at her husband all the time like they got on this boat and uh she didn't want to be on the boat so she's mad at the husband about the boat and then she like gets seasick and then she's mad at the husband about being seasick I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys get married at first sight? Would you marry a Tama at first sight? Comment down below. Tell me how you feel. So we got a like from these guys. Oh, you guys. Okay. I'm just going to put this out here right now. This little animal, it is a hamster. I had been calling it a dog appendage. It is not a dog. It looks like a dog to me. And then someone else on Instagram, I was talking with them and they were like, oh, it's a cat appendage, it's a cat. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's a cat. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna look and see what kind of animal this actually is. It's neither of those things. That is a hamster and it's called Muffin. Guys, Muffin the hamster appendage. Give him a like. So I'm hoping that we get a proposal pretty quickly because I've been getting a lot of proposals on this Tama pretty frequently, so that's why I picked this one. I do have another Tama running right now. Um, it's, uh, oh, we got another proposal from the hamster appendage. Um, it's uh, a kid of the um, trash cat. <laughs> What's it called? Polly Bakechi over here. This guy, the like NPC in the game right now. It's actually really cute. Well, it's twins in my other device. Um, and they're actually really cute. Go on my Instagram, check it out, see if you like them, I'll post some pics. Hamster appendage. They've got a cute pet too, that hamster appendage one. I never get pets, do you guys get pets? I just don't have time to like put stuff in the yard and wait. I don't know, I used to get pets a lot whenever I first started um, with my devices, but now I just kind of can't be bothered. What are your guys' opinions on pets? Do you like them? Do you not like them? What are your favorite pets? I saw earlier today, I've been in the app like all day long, um, but I saw earlier today there was a, like a polka dot fish. I thought that was really cute. What can we like around here? This bunny's cute. Oh, I didn't click on the bunny. This is a good pet. I don't think this is a real Tama though. No, I think that just got like assigned when they went in the app. Hamster appendage. Let's look for their family tree. Oh, so that's where the hamster appendage came from. It's been carried down from this 10th generation through 11th, and then now they still have it on their 12th gen. I'm surprised that they didn't get this, like, sweets head. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's maybe some sort of, like, sweet bun. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it's I think it's from the sweets. You guys tell me. I'm surprised I didn't get that though because I've been seeing that head around a lot lately. I like this one right here, the one that they married in the 10th generation with the hamster appendage. It looks kind of like my current Tama, I guess, so maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. We'll give them their like back. What do you guys feel about the Love Leechy ears? I feel like I see a lot of love lychee around. I don't know if I'm a giant fan of it. I feel like I've talked about this before, but it's just so, co it's like such a common trait. I've been in the app all morning, like I was saying, and I just haven't, well, there's been a couple Tamagotchis that I proposed to, but they haven't proposed, or they haven't accepted my proposal, and I think that's a bummer. Guys, you can accept proposals from other Tamas and not marry them yourselves. Just be a friend and let me marry your Tamagotchi. Come on. All we're getting are legs from this um, hamster appendage now. I'm kind of bummed. I have gotten so many proposals earlier today and now I'm not getting any for this video. I'm kind of bummed. But you guys can sit here and listen to me chat about Tamagotchis for a while if you want. 
listen, go do your homework, go like, you know, repair uh, your car or something and just, you can just listen to me talk. I'll just be here talking about Tamagotchis in the background. I'll keep you company. What kind of, uh, what kind of hobbies have you guys developed during this quarantine? Right now it is, um, it's May 2020, so the whole world is kind of locked down in quarantine. If you guys are watching this a little later and the society has returned to normal <laughs> when I'm filming this, we are in the heat of it. And uh, I live in a place where it's more locked down than other places. So uh, it's been two months now for us that we're just kind of in our houses not really seeing many people, uh, working from home, so that's kind of a bummer, but this is, that's kind of why I started this YouTube channel, is because I knew that we were going to be going into lockdown, um, so I was like, I am going to need an indoor hobby, what do I like? I like Tamagotchis, I'm going to start making videos, so that's why I started my Instagram, that's why I started this YouTube channel, is uh, just to have something new to do. I actually got kind of bored this weekend, or like last week, and I decided that I was going to start um, woodworking. Guys, am I Ron Swanson right now? I don't know. So I've got all this old wood furniture that's pretty janky. I got most of my furniture from my parents, so it's kind of secondhand. Um, well, it's 100% secondhand, if not third, fourth, fifth, sixth hand. Like, all my furniture is super old, and a lot of it's made out of wood. So, the wood gets old, it looks kind of ratchet, and I am going to fix it all. So, I bought, I went to Home Depot. Well, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos first. Like, I figured out what I was doing. And then, I went to Home Depot, and I got something called... Guys, are you ready for this? Oh my god. This is my first power tool, and its name is so funny. It's called a random orbit sander. So random, right? It's so like I brought it home and I was like to my boyfriend, I was like, I got a random orbit sander. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, you just like went and you picked out some random one. And I'm like, no, I'm like, that's what it's called. So I think that's a super funny name for a power tool. What do you guys think? Have you guys used power tools? Have you guys done any woodworking? Uh, comment down below. <laughs> like and subscribe I'm wondering if I'll cut out any of this chit chat or if I'll just leave it in I'm not sure how long I've been talking at this point and whenever I get YouTube analytics like they send you little um, analyses and emails and you can look at graphs and stuff like for those of you who don't make videos like I didn't know this before I started like I was saying um, like two months ago whenever I started this I didn't know how the back end of YouTube worked but um, you can actually look and see how many people watched your video. Obviously, you can see your views, but then you can also see how long they watched your video on average. So you can see if, you know, if 10 people started watching your video of those 10, how many people watched past one minute, past two minutes, past three minutes to see how many people actually watched through to the end of your video. And for a lot of my videos, people drop off after like a minute or two, like they click on it and they're like, oh, cool. And they 100% lose interest in it. So um, I think my video with my highest view count right now is the one that I did about the Pac-Man Tamagotchi unboxing. Um, and I think that I got more likes and views on that because it's a little more relevant right now that Tamagotchi did just come out. So I think people are kind of curious about it and they're wondering about it. Um, some of the videos that I thought would do better, like my boyfriend cares for my Tamagotchi, um, that one didn't get as many views. And then I did this one the other week that I tried to put a funny title for it. I called it how to catfish a Tamagotchi because I thought that could get some views. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways for like people to click on the video in the first place like using different thumbnails and trying to get catchy titles and stuff because like even if your content is good within your video nobody's gonna watch it if your thumbnail looks stupid or if your title isn't catchy to them so you have to draw them in somehow which feels a little I don't know like a little sketchy or something but it's so funny because I <laughs> had this idea for this video and I was like, I'm going to get a like right away with, or a proposal right away with this Tamagotchi because I'd been getting a lot of proposals all morning long and now as soon as I go in to do the video, I don't get one. I just don't know, guys. Cross your fingers for me that I get one soon because I'm hoping I'm not boring you guys. 
I honestly though, I go into YouTube and I'll just like click on a long video just to have in the background. Like I love listening to other people talk. I like listening to the background noise. I like just kind of like a chatty little moment. Then you, I mean, especially right now, I think a lot of people are quarantined alone. So just to have somebody chatting in the background, I think that's nice. Maybe I can put like a, what could a good title be for this? Like chatty Tamagotchi. Like I was thinking putting, you know, married, married at first sight Tamagotchi edition or something like that. Is that, am I going to get sued if I use those words? I don't know how like copyright infringements work really. Um, I know I'm supposed to like use uncopyrighted, uncopyrighted music and I always credit the artist in my description. So I know I'm doing that right, <laughs> but I'm not sure how, you know, using those words in that order would affect something. My channel is not big enough anyways for that to probably be an issue, but who really knows? Watch me like blow up and be the biggest <laughs> Tamagotchi YouTube creator and then get sued for making a video called Tamagotchi Married at First Sight. I do think this is a funny idea though. Tell me, tell me if you guys think it's funny. I don't know. I guess we'll see if um if I get a lot of views on the video, but can somebody just propose to me, please? What about you? Do you want to propose to me? <laughs> Is there a little sticker I can put on that says, propose to me right now. I love you. I will marry you. Let's see. I'll click on my time and look at these. Let's see. Um, maybe this one with a heart. Love me. I see a light coming through. Boom. What else can we put on here? Tama party? Tama party is where you go in and you get married. I don't know why it's called that. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I will stay in here until I get proposed to. Don't think I won't. Um, this Tamagotchi is called Jug, <laughs> in case you were wondering. And uh, I think it's a boy. So we gotta get a girl to like us. Hey ladies. How you doing? Hey. This is another boy, this person can't propose to us. Anyways, I don't care about you. Again, I feel like boys should be able to marry in the app. I feel like girls should be able to marry in the app, like each other. Boys should marry boy, girls should be able to marry girl. I've always thought that. As soon as I got these devices and I realized that that wasn't the case, I immediately was like, what? Made me pretty upset. Maybe not super upset. I wasn't like crying and having a tantrum or anything, but it made me, it gave me pause, I guess I should say. This is that boy again. I don't care about you, boy. Get out of here. We get a lot of likes, but we don't get a lot of proposals. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Except I'm a man, so always a groomsman, never a groom. Boys don't say stuff like that. It's like a girl thing, but I don't know. I've never been a giant fan of like the idea of marriage, so I don't really care about that. Oh, look at this one. It's got like a dino face. This is a really weird looking Tamagotchi. It's got like robot eyes, dino lips, the, um, is it called Ma Majorichi, the witch? A lot of Majorichi, um, traits. Let's look at the family tree. Oh, it's one of these. Man, I really wanted to see how that Tama came to be. That's disappointing. Love me. Let's see. This one is a... Boy, so that one can't propose to us anyways. This one is a girl, so you could propose to me. Think about it. Just think about it, little butterfly wing, uh, soup, soup head, Majorici, blueberry pet, lady, okay? What does this area say? I don't read Japanese, but I'm curious what where this person lives. Also, I'm curious too, so like, I'm in the app right now, and if I put both of my Tamagotchis in the app, I see them in this same area. But I'm wondering if there are different like servers. Like, could this app possibly hold all of the Tamagotchi on and meets and whatever the Korean one is? Um, can it hold all of the users in the entire world who are playing on the app at any given time? Like, is it big enough for that? Like, it, that just doesn't seem 
realistic. Like, I'm wondering if it's, like, based by area. You know, like, all of... Oh, guys, we got a proposal. Who is it? Oh my god, it's like this little onion looking thing. Ew. Oh my god. Well, here we go. We're gonna marry. Oh my god, look at him. He's got like a, an apple on his head. Oh, he's so stupid looking. Oh, it's a girl. Whatever. Oh my god, this is the stupidest looking Tamagotchi. It looks like a little dumpling. It looks like a stupid snowball dumpling head. Oh god. I can't wait to show you guys what babies we get. They're gonna be so boring. I'm about to get some like cardboard little lame looking stupid Tamagotchi babies. It's okay. That's silly. What do you guys think about the uh, the Tama that I got? Look at, oh my God, look at her. Oh, she's so boring. And she's got, what is that body? The body's boring too. The body's very basic. I guess I do like the little apple on the head. Like that's unique. I don't, is that from this, some, some character in the sweets? I don't know. But the body, is that from, mm, who's that from? Is that that little sheep that lives on the farm? I can't remember, but I see this body all the time. Like it's a very basic body. Usually when I try to pick a Tamagotchi, I want one that's got traits that you can't get um, yourself. So I don't like to go for any of the Tamas that you typically find like at the Tama Hotel or on the farm or, you know, just places that are like common among the different devices. And so I, I don't know, I like to get one, like I don't have a sweets edition, I don't have a fantasy edition. So I will go for like traits that come out of there or I will, oh, there we go. Or I will get, um, I love the traits that come from the different Tamagotchis that you can get at the stations. I think those are really cool. Um, all right, guys. So I was married at first sight, Tama edition. Um, they're probably just gonna start fighting really soon. Oh, it was a twin, guys. I married a twin. Oh my god. It's probably gonna be some drama with like, oh, you know, my twin doesn't like you, and my twin doesn't agree with you, so I can't be with you. Like, there's definitely gonna be some infighting. There's gonna be a lot of drama. Like, you guys, you can't just get married at first. I, I don't think it ever works. Like, it doesn't seem like a thing. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> Try to avoid. <laughs> don't get married in the first place. That's my PSA for today. Um, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Definitely go to my Instagram, um, follow me there. It's the Tama Girl. And like and subscribe, hit the notification bell right now. Do it. Hang out with me. Follow me on my Tama journey. And that is it for now, guys. So I'll do my classic outro. Bye, guys. Bye.